Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gold Gas here with another episode of How to Put a Boiler into Service Mode. This episode covers the Glowworm Flexicoms, Ultracoms and the Ultra Power. If you enjoy, please drop a like and if you want to see more service bits and gas works, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel. Make sure you make a note of the temperature settings or take a photo I find is easiest or any programs that you've changed or hot water temperature uh, so you can set it back at the end when you finish the service or whatever job you're doing. This will avoid the customer calling you up saying uh, something like the hot water is too hot or too cold. Just uh, stops any aggro. Right, to get this boiler into its service function, you want something small to enter into the little reset button. So uh, something thin, push that little reset key until the screen goes blank. And then as soon as it does, immediately after you do that, you want to hold down the plus key until you get a series of dots flashing. Once those dots start to flash, hold on to that plus key and then the display will show high or low. Once that displays, you can let go and you can push plus or minus and it will say high and low. And then to enter one of these, you push the mode key. So you can only do one at a time on this one. So you're going to need to have to come out of the mode to go back in it to do the other setting. So to do that, you hold down the plus key and that will take you to the original screen. And then you need to do the hold down the reset and start again. Or you can always hold down the reset when you're in that function mode, whether it's minimum or maximum. Hold down the reset, push the plus key again and hold that down, and then you'll get back into service mode. So to come out of it, you can either push the reset or you can hold down that plus key. That about does it for this episode. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. And if there's anything you want to see, like how to service a boiler or a question about a particular boiler, even one that I haven't shown yet, leave a comment below and I should get back to you. Cheers, folks. Stay safe.